What up, everybody? I'm NASA Stampede, aka Master Domix, and I'm back. What? Movies. Scene 47 Ronin. Good. Keanu Reeves is my dude. That's not your piece of pie don't even bother with it I don't want to hear your freaking geez, criticisms of Keanu Keanu makes good fun movies gangster movie is the one he was kicking ass in 47 Rowan and that movie was good and it just I don't, I don't like giving spoilers you know me spoilers so just see it it's real good the whole samurai thing it, it keeps it together the ending is not your typical Hollywood ending it's good so go see that uh, the secret life of Walter Mitty great movie up there top-notch with the rest of my favorite movies that one would surely like change your life maybe not I don't know not really there's a whole bunch of other movies with the same message but this one was perfect and I could relate to it because I'm the kind of person who just daydreams you know just go out there and just you know, I want to jump through that window right now and do crazy stuff and fly, but I can't. So, anyways, it's a great movie, great cast, funny, very funny, heartwarming, heartfelt, whatever. So, check that out. Good movie. Uh, big up to Banks Dinner. And, uh,. I don't know what else. Ninja 2 stars Scott Atkins, directed by Isaac Florentine, who is known, well, not really, or should be known for uh, uh, his time in the Power Ranger universe. Uh, he was a director and producer through that time. Right now, he's more of a like producer, consultant to the Power Ranger stuff, so he still becomes involved. He has my beard itches. But his movies outside of that are just great, like great A, like really good, you know, old school martial arts kind of movies. And Ninja 1 was good, but Ninja 2 is really good. And Scott Atkins, if you don't know who Scott Atkins is, you've probably seen him. He's, he was in The Expendables 2 with John claude Van Damme. Uh, he was this John claude Van Damme right hand man. And it's funny because John claude Van Damme and Scott Atkins both make movies mostly side by side in uh, the direct to DVD market. Great movies, check it out. It's on Netflix, alright? It's on the Netflix. And so, this is not gonna be a lot of editing here because I'm just rambling on like crazy. But, I think that's all I should ramble about. The new game edition out. That game was hilarious. It's very fun, very tiring. We're gonna do it again because we wanted to do it with Scooby as well. Just everybody just getting in. Kung Fu High Impact on the Xbox 360 Connect. Great fun game. Sure as hell gonna do it again. Because brother needs to lose some weight, yo. <sighs> Get fat, y'all. But ain't nothing wrong with that. Big ups to all the fat girls out there. And by fat, I mean P H A T. And by P H A T, I mean you got some curves on your girl. Because if you ain't got no curves, you better eat some donuts, girls. Eat a, eat a Big Mac, take it to the face, and just chill. Yeah, yeah. Wrestling. Bautista came back, and it was, but he had like some tight, really tight, I mean, tight pants or whatever. But who gives a crap? I just want to see the Royal Rumble and get excited for the WWE Network, so I can watch WrestleMania for 10 bucks a month. Life is good. GTA 5 Online. I had over 500 million dollars because the glitches and on Christmas they hooked us up with money. There's a funny story with that. Would you want to hear it? Sure, why not? We were playing and after we did a, a mission or whatever, they break us up. You know, usually we're all supposed to come back in the same session, but sometimes you end up in your own session, or you heard that at Facebook, you end up in your own session, or you go end up in a public session. Well, Scooby ended up in a public session. When we got him back into our session, he came back with a $2 billion, $2 billion bounty on his head. 
So we did what any other rational person playing GTA Online with their friend having a bounty. We circled his house, told him bring your ass outside so we could claim it. He gave us a you know, little, he made us work for it, but we got it. Spread it out to everybody, shared it. We all became 200 millionaires. And then eventually I showed up in another public session. They just gave me money like crazy. I became $500 million millionaire. Life was beautiful. Life was good. And then recently, uh, GTA Online shut that down, took up all the glitches, took the money. We still got money, but not that, you know, extra amount that was added on to there. But I still got my crib and all my houses and my jets and all that stuff. So, and, you know, life is good. Life is good. Hallelujah. Praise God. Been thinking about getting a P.O. box. Have you guys write to me? What do you say? Would you guys write to me? I think it would be kind of cool. I'm already doing writing right now to a friend. Um, so... So, should I do it? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, like, like and subscribe, like all our videos. I just mind all our videos. All right, I'm done, guys. Thank you for watching. Spoiling anything just pisses me off, dude. I don't want to know. All right, that. here we go. Is it recording? Yeah, 13 seconds. <laughs>